Okay, here's a demo of a uh, text-to-speech engine in Max MSP combined with a uh, CSV reader. Uh, both of these are written in JavaScript and it showcases the two different types of JavaScript objects that Max makes available to us. So I'll start by just pressing play. Fishing ship, trade con, transport ship, turtle ship, elite turtle ship, wild boar. And uh, you can see that this is just walking through a CSV file and reading out each of the um, uh, the the contents of that CSV file, and it's applying some amount of reverb based on other data in that file. So let's take a quick look at the units.csv. These are um, this is a CSV file with a list of units from Age of Empires 2. Um, we've got the unit names here, and we have the build time here, which is what we're using for reverb. And we're just walking through this CSV file and applying uh, our text-to-speech engine, eSpeak, to this text one at a time, and then playing it through a reverb. So let's start by taking a look at how the CSV reader works, because that's the easiest bit here. So here's our CSV reader, um, and every time I hit bang, I get um, these values 13, 4, 11, 2, 13, 4, 11, 2. And that's because we're reading in the test.csv file. And if we pull up test.csv, we can see we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. And accordingly, we're adding 10 to get 13. Um, and we're 1, 11 and 13. Uh, we're using from symbol because the outlets of, or the outputs on each outlet of the CSV reader are all going to be strings. So we just want to parse those back into integers to use them as um, numerical data. Uh, let's take a quick look at the file here. We can open it up in the max um, file editor, um, text editor, or we can open it up um, with any other editor that we like. And this is pretty straightforward, um, just about 30 lines of code. We read in a CSV file uh, name from the argument passed to this, so that's our test.csv read the first line of the file. So this does expect the file to have headers. We split on the commas to get the length, and that is the number of columns that we're going to have. And then every time we get a bang message, we check if the file's open. If we're at the end of the file, we're going to loop back to the start, which is why when I do this, we're getting um, the data just cycling around. And then we uh, read a line, split it on the commas, and for each um, row, no, for each column, uh, we output the column value into the appropriate outlet. We do this row by row. So that's all there is to the CSV reader. Mm, let's go back to our, take a look at this one. Now yeah, whatever, we'll go to our, uh, just go to our AOE one here. Uh, so we can look at how this is working. Uh, so here we have our CSV. Um, all right, one important point actually about the CSV reader. Um, if you change the file that you're reading in, so this is two, then you'll see that the number of outlets automatically um, adjusts appropriately. Pretty neat. Um, all right, so We've done the same thing here for our units.csv, which is why we have all these outlets um, pulling out whichever one is build time here. I think that's the seventh one. Um, seventh one. Uh, we prepend speak to the value that's coming out of the front to construct the special message that our eSpeak wrapper expects. So let's take a look at our eSpeak wrapper. Again, a little bit of JavaScript code. There's two different types of JavaScript objects in Max. There's JS and Node.Script. JS is for um, basically short data processing style JavaScript functions, and Node.Script is for things that need to access some more uh, specialized resources. Um, for example, in this case, we want to execute a command line utility, uh, eSpeak.exe. Um, and that's, uh, we're going to use node for that. Um, 
every time we get the speak message. So what is eSpeak? eSpeak is a um, text-to-speech engine. It's actually a fairly old one, but uh, it's open source and really easy to use. It comes with pre-compiled binaries that are very easy to download and get working. Um, so I really like this one. You could also use any other text-to-speech engine that you like. Um, all you would need to do is just swap out the um, executable that you're calling here. Um, there's a lot of modern text-to-speech engines that work through an online API like Google Text-to-Speech, but it's closed source. Um, you're going to be limited in the number um, in the amount of calls that you can make to that text-to-speech engine. Um, you have to access the internet to um, call it as just a kind of a pain in the neck. You can get better quality um, speech synthesis, but uh, this is probably, well, this is sometimes going to be good enough for you. Um, so just a quick note on that. Basically, you need to make sure that your executable is in the same folder as your max patch. And I just pulled that out of the program files, eSpeak, um, and then there's a command line folder. And then you just pull your executable out of there and drag it over here. Um, and that's how you get this. And the dash W here means write a wave file called temp.wave with the output. So if we go back here, what's actually happening is that every time we execute this node script, we write a file called temp.wave. And then after we're done writing that file, we output a bang from our object. And that Bing is going to say, once you're done writing that file um, with eSpeak, you're going to read in that file into a buffer. Um, and then uh, just because of the way I want to use this, I've set it up so that when you're done reading in the buffer, your Bing when file read operation completed. So when you're done reading it in, you're going to play it right back and apply reverb um, according to the value that you pulled off of that seventh um, column of the CSV. And so that's Deer, how we get this. Horse, sheep, turkey, wolf, jaguar, trade cart, missionary, monk, bombard cannon, mandonal, onager, siege onager. Cool. So that's all there is to it.